Have you ever felt so overwhelmed by life's difficulties that you wondered if God had abandoned you? Hey, I'm Dylan, and you're listening to Unlocked, your daily key to unlocking God's Word in your life. Have you ever felt like God is ignoring you, like he's distant and your prayers are going unanswered? If you're experiencing this, you're not alone. In today's Devo, the raw honesty of David's words may resonate deeply with you. It's called How Long by Bethany Acker. How long, God? Why is it taking forever for things to get better? Why can't my life turn around and be all that I hoped for? Why do you feel so far from me? How long, God, is it going to feel like this? How long can I survive like this? You may have had thoughts like these at times, and they are similar to the thoughts of David when he wrote Psalm 13. In this psalm, David asks God if he will forget him forever. That's the way he's feeling as he writes, forgotten and abandoned. He is sorrowful and wrestling with difficult thoughts. That might be just the way you feel sometimes. You might feel alone. You might worry about a hundred things at once. Your life might feel messy and you might feel like God is far from you. But the truth is, God is so very near. He loves us so much that Jesus died and rose again to make the way for us to be with him always. Once we put our trust in Jesus, we can know that even in our worst moments, Jesus is right there with us. He weeps with us and offers hope, comfort, and strength. And one day, he will make all wrongs right. When we rest in these truths, it can help us remember that God is trustworthy. He loves us and he never leaves us. That's what David does in Psalm 13. In the end, he remembers that God has been good to him. He might have felt abandoned for a time, but he knows that God is always good. David even says that he will sing praise to the Lord. When we struggle, we can cry out and ask God how long we're going to feel that way. We can tell him how abandoned and forgotten we feel. We can process all our messy feelings with him. As we do this, the Holy Spirit helps us remember how good God is and rest in the truth that he is with us. He has always loved us and always will. All right, let's think about this for a second. When we read lament psalms, like Psalm 13, it can be tempting to skip right down to the good part in verses 5 and 6. We might want to skip over our feelings of hurt, sorrow, and frustration, but that's not what God wants for us. He is not afraid of our feelings. Instead of skipping these uncomfortable emotions, he invites us to process them with him, even if that means telling him how angry we are at him. Are there any uncomfortable feelings that You need a process with God right now. He invites us to come to him in prayer and be honest with him so he can bring healing to our hearts. Now, you and I can read in Psalm 13, 5, but I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. And dive into God's word for more in Psalm 13, verses 1 through 6 to keep God's word alive in your life. Unlocked is a resource of Keys for Kids Ministries. And are you interested in our summer reading program? We just kicked it off last week and there are prizes you don't want to miss, including a road trip pack, journaling Bibles, and more. Sign up anytime when you go to unlocked.org slash summer. And come back for tomorrow's devotion with Natalie. Why it's a good idea to change up your devotional routine every once in a while. But until then, I'm Dylan, encouraging you to live life unlocked opening the door to God in your life.